Welcome back to Dash on the Road. I'm going to show you my salamander's enclosure. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Yesterday I did show you a video, but that was from like three weeks ago, and I had just never uploaded it, so I'm going to get right into it. So here's the stuff I'll be using today in the paper towels and the spray bottle. And if you guys are wondering where my little salamander is while I'm doing it, that is not his environment. That was his environment, and it had dirt first, but... He just stays in that little holding tank while I do it. It's got water at the bottom, but there he is. He's so tiny. You'll get to see him when I get done, so let me move that. Sorry about that noise. I got a notification again. So there we go. I'm just going to be dampening the bottom, which I did just wash it out with my water hose, so I'm not making it really damp because you can't get them too damp. And that's not good. But I'm going to be putting two layers because when you have little salamanders, they're messier than the big ones. So I'm just going to be putting down two layers. And guys, please don't judge me on how I set these up. I'm just setting these up how I want. They're not professional or anything. I'm just setting them up how I want to. And how I know that it's not going to hurt my salamander. So please just don't judge people about how they set their tanks up. And it's not like they're harming their salamander by setting them up a certain way. Except for if you like give them live moss or anything that carries fungi. Because if you give them stuff that carries fungi, you are being really kind of disrespecting the salamander because you kill them by doing that. Because their skin, especially when they're little, you can hurt their skin really, really easily. And when you hurt it, they can't handle much stress, especially being hurt when they're little because they're just learning how to survive without their mother. And the reason why I got one that small is I found it in my front yard abandoned in the middle of the yard and I left it out there for three weeks. And the mother still didn't come back to it, neither did other babies. So I just felt like the little guy was out there all alone and wasn't going to be able to defend for himself. So I just brought him in, and he's been living for five weeks with me so far. So, so good. So far, so good, which is actually quite nice. Let's see. I'm just putting in, like, little decor now. You can choose what decor you want to put in, but I don't really put in lots of decor. I try to give them as much room as I can to roam around, but I, of course, give them a lot of room anyway. So, I just have some old cork bark out of my yard. I have a lot of it. I have all of that, and I even have more inside there, which that's just where I keep some of my supplies. <coughs> Well, next week it's not going to be where I keep some of my supplies because I'm getting a tiger salamander, but now it's where I keep some supplies and I have five other huge pieces in there, but there's the pieces that I'm choosing from now. Sorry about that noise again, third time, but there. You guys can see the tank pretty good now. I'm just going to be placing in the decor so you can like skip the decor part or you can watch the decor part. I don't really care which one you do. It's up to you. Totally up to you, that's for sure. I'm just putting in decor. Which, you can put them in the same spots as me. Sure, I really don't care if you do it. And I'm sure your salamanders won't care either. Salamanders, noose, whatever. I'm just spraying it down really nicely right now. You can just put decoration anywhere. You just have to make sure you don't give them like anything that can harm them though. But like, there's mine. So you guys can just look at that for a minute. I'm going to just go grab the other decor I'm going to use. And I'll be back in not even an entire minute. Okay, so I'm going to be right back. I'm back. So, I just got some little extra decor right there. And I'm going to use the dried up moss. 
Dried up moss is fine to use, but please do not use live moss. You can kill your salamander because it carries fungi. I'm just going to take that piece out. I feel like it's taking up too much room. I'm just going to lay that one like right there. Mm, I guess it's okay that way. I guess I'll just, I'll probably just leave it like that then. I added a piece of grass in. That grass probably will not live long, but it does not hurt to put it in. And then I just have some more fake moss. Well, it's not fake. It's dead. So there's the enclosure is. I'm just going to let you guys look at it quickly. Okay, so I'm going to set you guys right there. Sorry, I'm going to move that there, of course. Of course, I'm not just going to make you stare. And I'm going to go grab some water. I'm back. I just have this little pitcher. It's halfway full of water. Well, not halfway, like half. So I'm just gonna grab the little pitcher and I always give them plenty of water. This water dish is just right for the little guy. And if it overflows when you fill it up, it's okay. So there it is. You guys can watch. I'm just grabbing my little salamander. And look at the little guy. He's like, can I come out now? So I'm going to set you guys um, right there. And I'm going to grab the salamander. Okay, guys. So he took a minute to grab, but... Not that bad. So here he is compared to my hand. He's giant. But he's really super small. So I'm just going to lay it right there. And put him on my different hand. That's why it's easier to introduce him. So where do you want to go? Go. So there he is in his new home. And his name is Speckles. Because if you look closely. He has like yellowish gray speckles on him. But. I'm just going to let you see an overview. Let me move it over here. You can probably see it better with it. Like, there we go. That's better. There it is. And there's the salamander. His name is Spot. He's super sweet, though. There he is. You can see him better. He's right there. He's probably going to move. He's probably going to head straight in the water dish, but I'm not sure. I'm just going to grab my squirt bottle and give it a squirt. Yep, he went straight into the water dish. And that paper towel did just fall. If it falls when your salamander's in it and you don't fix it right away... It's okay, guys. Don't worry about it. There's my little salamander. You can see him great now. And if you can't, I'm going to point at him. There he is. So, there's my salamander. I'm just going to grab the lid, put it on, and then the video is over. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'm just going to lay it down for just a minute. Here it is. So, there he is. I'm going to go put it back where he always stays. And the reason why it stays underneath my frog's little cage is because they can dry on the sunlight. They don't need the sunlight. And when they're babies, they do better out of the sunlight. So, there it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!